I'm Leanna Lowenstein, Child and Family Therapist in Toronto, Canada. Today I'm talking about an activity called A Lot on My Plate. This activity helps the client identify their problems and worries and also strengthens coping skills. I begin by normalizing that everybody has stress. It's just a normal part of life. I then ask the client, what are some things that cause stress for kids your age? I then give the client a paper plate and some paper, and I ask them to write down on strips of paper the things that are stressing them out. As an optional part of this activity, you can have the client quantify their stressors by writing down their bigger problems and worries on bigger strips of paper, their smaller ones on smaller strips of paper. So let's say I'm doing this activity with a 14-year-old girl. So she might say, well, one of the things that's stressing me out is my parents are always yelling at me. And I would ask, is that a big stressor or a smaller one? So she might say, well, it's pretty big, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write that on a bigger strip of paper. My parents are always yelling at me. And then I have the client fold it and put it onto the paper plate. And then the next one, the client might say, well, I don't really fit in at school. And that's also a big, a big stress. Don't fit in at, at school. And the activity continues, so other stressors that this client might identify are, um, I have a lot of schoolwork, or um, I get really nervous whenever I have to write a test, or my little sister is always bugging me. And the activity continues in this manner until the client has finished writing their various stressors, each on separate strips of paper. They folded each one and loaded them onto the plate. So it might look something like this. Once the client has finished writing all their stressors on the strips of paper and they folded each one and put it onto the plate, I then ask the client to hold up the plate. And I say, wow, you've got a lot on your plate. That's, that's really um, loading you down, it looks like. Um, and I wonder what it's like, what it feels like to have so much on your plate weighing you down like that. And of course the client will say, well, it, it doesn't feel very good. And I might say to the client, well, if I were to ask you to hold it up for a really long time, just you know, continue to hold it up for a really long time, would that be easier or harder to do? Um, the client will say, well, it's harder. The longer I have to hold it up, the, the harder that is. And I reflect that uh, when we have a lot of stress in our life and it doesn't get addressed, it can really just weigh us down even more and more. I then uh, put my hand under the plate. And I say, so if I were to help you hold up your plate, does that make it easier or harder? And of course it makes it easier. So I reflect, uh, so when we have help and support, that can make the load feel a lot less heavy and it can really um, help us not feel as stressed out. Then I ask the client, uh, what would it feel like to have less stress, to have less on your plate to deal with? The client will say, well, I, I, that would feel good. And then, I say, uh, well, therapy can help to address some of the things that you have on your plate. So um, I might ask the client to choose one thing that they put on their plate, one of their presenting problems, um, and we would have a discussion about it, uh, about how it feels to have that problem. I might normalize that it's a typical problem that a lot of kids your age might have. And then together we brainstorm some appropriate coping strategies to address that issue. I then say that throughout the course of therapy, we'll be talking about the things that are stressing you out, um, and we'll be brainstorming some ways to cope with these stressors. And each time we're able to come up with appropriate solutions uh, for the, the problem or the worry, we take it off the plate. So that by the end of therapy, the client will have a lot less on their plate. It's important to set realistic expectations about therapy and to say that therapy may not be able to address all the stress on your plate. So there may be still some stress left by the end of therapy, because as I said before, everyone has stress. Uh, but certainly 
I think a realistic goal is that by the end of therapy, you'll have a lot less on your plate and you won't feel so loaded down with so much stress. This is a visual and concrete tool to help the client identify their stress and to strategize some appropriate coping strategies. It's a particularly helpful tool to use with clients who present with a multitude of presenting issues. They often feel very overwhelmed with all the stress in their life um, and they don't even know where to begin in therapy. So it helps the client to first of all externalize their stress, to put it down in a concrete observable way, which is in and of itself therapeutic. Um, and then to, uh, to prioritize the goals that they want to um, uh, address in therapy. I welcome your feedback on this technique, so please feel free to post your feedback on my YouTube channel. Thank you.